there's this like really beautiful like release that comes with that mm -hmm. of putting your putting the things that's putting your head out into the world. It's really um, beautiful to see it all come together in one space. And I think that the audience and people who joined us on that day really got to understand Aja in a different way. It was really an opportunity to just tell a holistic story about Aja. You know, being able to incorporate both like our design, merchandising, spatial tastes, and also write and creative direct a performance piece, you know, like really stretch our creative expression in that way. That is the inception of it, that genuine spark within ourselves. And I definitely want to express so much gratitude to Nana, y'all. I felt like she handled the concept with so much care and allowed us the space to explore in ways that we needed to in the beginning to really like settle in it. And I think a lot of her work was really in helping our performers find their own interpretation. Of all things, all knowing, a masculine being. And it's how we develop more empathy by being curious and open minded about the world. We continue to come upon um, literature and text around oration, oral storytelling, storytelling as a way, as a means of preserving culture. By Nancy buying back the stories, and Nancy was able to share the stories with the world and with the community and with the diaspora. A god of sacred tales. Who is Nancy? That led to those stories being Anansi, a story that came from West Africa, traveled all the way to the Caribbean, to all over America. It's continued to survive after all these centuries, and that ultimately um, sparked something within us to say, you know, what does that look like through our lens? It takes me a minute, because the process of making is so long that I'm just like, I'm still in those cutting circles. I think that it looks this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
It's always about finding people that resonate with whatever story we're trying to tell. We chose collaborators whose opinions and creative perspective we really appreciated and really admired. I think I remember. I remember darkness. There were so many moments of vulnerability. It really just unlocked something really beautiful within us. Maybe it's that you still keep like moving to even like, yes, I remember the scene of that, and then at the end of Christ's Tales is when you push each other away because that makes more sense. Because then that's when the heart begins, and that's when you guys can come and even see some that, he gets that, and then you move away and go, mm -hmm. and he starts to kind of like react to that heartbeat. Moya, you are my creative vulnerability partner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'm so happy we can do these things together. It was so nerve wracking, but we pushed ourselves. I think I was very fearful, but also um, really excited about the challenge and the experience and oftentimes on the other side of fear there's typically you know this expansion i think the most important thing about storytelling is leaving something behind Am I a spirit of a rebel, a spirit of the unnatural order, a god of sacred tales? I remember darkness and doubt. They thought I'd forgotten, but I remember the tales of our mothers and fathers, the tales of me.